What's going on everybody? Jamie here from FM Scout. Today's video, I am bringing you a little player spotlight. Today, we are going to be looking at a player that you can potentially sign quite low down in the pyramid of football. This isn't really a player I would suggest for your bigger teams, but if you're a smaller team and you're managing out of England, I would look at this guy. As always, we're going to look at his progress over five years and we're going to see what he can do at a specific team. The team we're going to be sending him to is Porto. But if you enjoy this video, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's go and have a look at this player. Here he is, John Tibar, a striker from Tanzania. A really good player, actually, and is on an amateur contract. Currently playing for, well, in, currently playing for Ndanda, who is in the Tanzania Premier Division. So someone that you guys definitely probably wouldn't have scouted. And I'm intrigued to see if any of you have actually heard of this player. I've done a bit of research. This player has moved to the United Arab Emirates in real life. So he'll only be available for a free transfer on this game. He's actually on £0 per week. So contract-wise, it should be really easy to get him. Now, if you are managing in England, don't forget, of course, you, you, you're going to struggle with work permits and stuff like that. But there's no reason that you can't send him somewhere to get a work permit. And I, I'm intrigued to see how, I mean, he, is, he has got a bit of potential, so I'm intrigued to see how this guy can turn out. But looking at his attributes, you know, he's got 13 finishing, he's got 13 first touch, 13 heading, 13 off the ball. He's got 16 flair, which is really good. And he's got 11 decisions, 14 aggression, 13 acceleration. He does need a little bit of work on his pace, but he is only 18 years old. He's not been capped. A really weird player, and you can see his contract expires on the second of the first, 1900. That's because he's obviously on an amateur contract. But he's a poacher, he's advanced forward, he's never played for Ndanda. So I don't know who has found this guy in the research team or Africa, but he's, apparently he's got something, right? So let's go forward and let's have a look at him at Porto and then we'll have a little chat. Firstly, he's not gone to Porto. I've just remembered I've sent him to Benfica. But also, he's lost his 16 flair. So the picture I just shown you of John T. Bar was on a different save. So. He has got a minus ability, which means sometimes his attributes could look better. Sometimes they could look worse on your saves. Generally, you know, on my save now, he's got 14, 14, 14. But he has lost the 16 flair that he had. So, again, he's got a bit of a kind of a, a variable potential ability. But you can see he's in the Porto team, uh, the Benfica team. I keep saying Porto. I don't know why Porto is on my mind. But you can see he's got one and a half star current ability for the Porto team. And he's got... I've, I've said it again, I for the, I can't get it out of my head for the Benfica team. So he's got one and a half star for the Benfica team and he's got three and a half star potential. So pretty decent, really, for a free transfer. And you can see the tactic we're going to play him in. We're going to play him as a lone striker, as an advanced forward. And we're going to see how many goals that he can score this season with Benfica. So let's go forward one more year. And let's see exactly what he does in season number one. All right, looking at this screen first, he wasn't the top scorer. Pizzi was the top scorer. But Benfica did win the league. So he's got a title under his hand. I'm hoping they played him. Let's have a little look if we go down to here. John Tibor, he, I can't see any increases just yet. I don't know if his heading was 15. It might, have, might not have been. But he made seven appearances and he scored four goals. Now... You know, he did make 19 appearances in total, and I have obviously made sure that the, the, they play him when I go on holiday. So you can see that I have got the use current team selection when possible and use the match tactics. So he should be playing, but he did make seven appearances. Let's have a little look, though, if he did increase on anything. Let's go to his progress. As always, we'll come to his milestones at the end of the five years. We do like to look at this graph, though, to see... I mean, generally, he's had, a, he's had a good season, you know? I mean, he is obviously using really good training facilities and things like that. So, overall, I've got to be happy with the first season, though I haven't seen any ones yet. I mean, whether we're going to get that, I don't know. But, I mean, looking at his profile, I mean, very, very good. Let's go forward one more year, and let's see what he's done this year. All right, so he wasn't the top scorer this year. Rafa was the top scorer, though they did win the league again. So, he's got two titles under his belt. Let's go to his profile now and let's have a look if we can see any noticeable changes. Now, I can definitely see some noticeable changes. The guy has gone from 14s to 15s. I can already spot that straight away. Um, maybe his pace has gone up as well. I'm not quite sure. But he's played 19 appearances, scored eight goals and got two assists. So a really good season for him. He's gone to two-star current ability. His potential is four. So he's looking good. I mean, if we go to his history, you can see more stats right here. But, you know, a 709 rating in this season, 7.39 in the season before. Let's go to progress. Let's look at attributes. 
And let's go to all time. So he's saying it hasn't gone up, but it has gone up by because it was 14, right? Unless I'm losing my mind. But his long shots have gone up. His composure, his determination, his leadership is off the ball. And we've had a lot of increases in his physicals over this season. So a really good season. Let's go forward another year to the third year. And let's see if he can do the um, the league again for the third year in a row. Okay, it's 2022. And just look, please, just look at the player stats. He's there. John T-Bar, 35 goals. He has got 91 points with Benfica this season. And this might be his best season that he has ever had. Oh, I've just realized why I keep saying Porto. Because I made sure that he had a, um, a, a future fee to Porto. Which means... That's why Porto is on my mind. It's not leaving for another 10 years, but, you know, that's why it's on my mind. But, yeah, John T-Bar, 35 goals. And you can see Edin's gone to 16. It, you know, he's been in the Champions League, six appearances, three goals. Europa League, six appearances, four goals. We'll come back and have a look a little bit later if he has actually won the Europa League or anything. If we go to his development, though, let's go to progress. Let's go to attributes and down to all time. You know, you've got your dribbling, your finishing. You've got two on your long shots now. His mental attributes are looking really good. His physical attributes, again, are looking really good. And let's have a look what he did in terms of this. So 7.44 rated. And you can see on his profile, it's got a lot of good increases. I like it. I like it a lot. But he has had a good season. So let's go forward to the fourth year. And let's see what he does in that fourth year. All right, we're in the fourth year. And you can see Benfica won the league yet again. Only a point this time, though. 85 points, Porto was on 84, but John Tibor, 25 goals, let's go to his profile, and you can see 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, really good, I like it, and physical are looking even better as well, considering how he started, but yeah, 20 goals, 5 assists, he didn't play in the Champions League, I don't think, by the looks of this, but we'll come on to that a little bit later, and you can see a 7.32 average rating, so really, really good. I mean, you have to think the guy was like on zero pound per week and he was a free transfer, right? Well, let's go forward to the final season now and let's have a look at his milestones and what he did in the final season on the season five. And season five, you can see Benfica won the league for the fifth time in a row. John Tibor, 27 goals. Really good season again. And it's probably, you know, he might get a little bit better than this. I mean, the thing is, he's only 23 it's probably got another two years of development, right, before it kind of slows down. So you might see a bit more of an improvement. And I think for anyone who's playing lower league saves, you can definitely cash this guy in for about 5 to 10 million, 15 million maybe. I really think you could. And I think it could be a big player for your team if you do play in kind of the lower leagues and you're moving through the lower leagues. Let's go to his progress, though. Let's look at his attributes for the final time. And you can see he's had a lot of ones, a lot of twos. And he's had some threes. The biggest one, though, is four. He's had four on composure. He's had four on leadership, which was actually, looks like it was one at the start. You've also got four on balance, four on agility, and then a few threes on pace and stuff like that. But generally, quite a quick striker. His composure's gone up quite a bit. You know, the, the 316s of dribbling, finishing, and first touch. Very, very important, as we all know. Let's look, finally, at the five years. You can see how many goals he scored. 68 goals in 120 appearances from the age of 18 years old. And let's look finally at the milestones to see what he's won in his career with Benfica. So you can see he won the Super Tassa. So he's won one, he's won two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I I'm, I'm losing count. It's one that many. So we've got one. We've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen trophies. Of course, we haven't won any kind of Europa League or anything like that. But sixteen trophies in five years with Benfica and a big, big improvement. You can see his bravery has gone down. One thing that I've missed from a lot of spotlights is kind of his injuries because, you know, you, another thing I miss actually is the coach report. So this is his coach report after five years. I probably should have shown it kind of at the start, but you can see he doesn't enjoy big matches. If some of the cons do kind of put you off, I mean, it doesn't say that he's injury prone. Uh, this, you know, he's only had one major injury, which was 2024, which was this season, which is why his bravery has gone down where he was out for six weeks. So... 
I mean, generally, like, the longest he was out for in five years was six weeks. He had, he's had three, three weeks. But really, a, a really good player in terms of injuries and staying fit. So that's something also to take into consideration. But you can see over the five years, a 7.31 rating, 10 player of the matches, 13 assists, 68 goals in 120 appearances. A really good signing for a free transfer. You've got to admit it. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Something not really different, but a different type of player that I'm hoping maybe a few of you have not heard of. Let me know in the comments if you have heard of him there and you've signed him or you've used him on FM20. You won't get the chance to sign him on a free transfer on FM21 because he has, like I say, moved to the UAE. So well, it's been a pleasure and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everybody.